most of my videos and the first exercise shoot that we're doing is on this uh, rear delt fly, which is, as you'll see me is one of my favorite exercises for working shoulders. So hopefully this is an exercise that I can demonstrate pretty well um, on photo. That took about 20 minutes for that one picture. And uh, for anyone who's looking at these magazines and thinks, that's easy, it's not easy. It might look easy looking at the magazines, but that's 20 minutes of kind of isometrically holding the weight. That's, that's quite a tough, especially when you're depleted, where you set yourself up for a photo shoot like the competition. But anyway, Corey has just uh, shown me some of the photos and um, he says he likes them. I like them. We're looking at angles now, so it's a demonstration exercise, but instead of simply just showing start and finish, what we're trying to do is get a little bit more of an artistic feel and focus on the machine as well as some of the, the cuts and angles on me, I guess. So I'll see if we can actually get a sneak peek of the camera next time he's showing me, but um, I'm really happy because last time I shot with Maximum Fitness, it was one day before I did the WBFF fitness championships in 2009 and that was in Canada. Well, I'm shooting for the same magazine. I'm now four and a half weeks back from the competition and I'm looking at these pictures going, I look in the same shape. In fact, I look bigger now and equally conditioned than I did back then. So I turned up in a good mood. Now I'm in a really good mood because I'm looking at my conditioning and thinking, hey, I've still got four and a half weeks left to continue improving. So. Um, Let's move on to the next photo, and uh, this time we're going to focus on, I think, rear deltoids. Once again, one of my favorite muscle groups that I've been training recently. Hopefully it pays off. Right, so like I said earlier, you may be here doing the photo shoot, but that doesn't mean you're too good to actually put a hand in and help move the setup from one location to the next. So again, you never know when it might actually pay off the time. So we're now on to, uh, I guess, exercise number two. And much of the time is spent setting up to make sure that exercise is technically correct. It's all very well taking a nice photo and showing the muscle that it's working, but really what I'm doing as the model is trying to demonstrate that exercise so that the writer and the exercise plan has already been programmed and developed, written out, ready for the magazine. I'm purely just the guy they, they draft in to demonstrate that in the photo. So we're setting up a front shoulder press now. We need to make sure that the bench, the bar, the setup is as perfect as it can be so that when the reader, hopefully you guys, are looking at this in the magazine, everything is how it should be performed and not purely set up for the sake of taking a photo, which I let you into a little secret. Sometimes behind the camera and in front of the camera, we change a few things around to make it, let's say, look good for the, the end product, the photo. But a lot of these magazines, especially with Maximum Fitness, which I've done before, and it took a full day just to do an exercise workout feature, is we really need to set up the exercise spot on so that the technical aspect and the form are all correct, so that it, it, it's, it plays along with the actual description of the exercise. Okay, this may not look like I'm lifting much weight, and really that's because I'm not lifting much weight. I'm holding that weight for up to 20 or 30 seconds at a time, five, six or more times repeatedly. Uh, another little tip I let you in too, and that's um, on a lot of these shoots, not this shoot or any shoot I've done with Maximum Fitness before, but there is such a thing as fake weights. I know. 45 pound plates can weigh as little as 15 pounds. So, just if you're trying to follow a workout in a magazine and you see three or four plates either side, and this guy's benching out maybe 10 or 12 reps or showing up in the magazine, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's benching whatever that weight might be in real life. It's purely for that 
effect of, of the photo. These weights are grip, which is why I'm putting 25 pound plates on and not going up with two or three 45 pound plates. Again, another little tip, always lift within your limits. There's no point going really super heavy, overtraining, possible risk of injury, or just not really engaging that muscle that you're focusing on. really is quite a, an interactive relationship with the photographer and the model working together to get the best shots. It's, you can't just turn up in good shape, sit there, hold a pose and expect to get some great images out of it. You really need to work around, get the angles, just do it over and over again until you get what it takes is one shot before you can move on, but everything needs to be right, so that's what we're trying to do here, get the right angle. That's why I've raised myself up just to show all the muscle groups as well. So this is what's called a beauty shot, maybe a lead into that particular feature, four shoulders. It's really just a great looking shot as opposed to a demonstration shot. it guys this is what every guy in the whole fitness thing wants to do certainly it's what I wanted to do when I first got in there and that was be on the cover of a magazine so um, and it doesn't get any less exciting more of a thrill however many you've done um, I haven't done that many so it's still very new to me so um, really the thing is to feel relaxed don't look too robotic in the uh, in the, the pose and try a few different things That's what happens when you shoot live on location. As I was saying, it's about some of the poses and making sure that they work with your body type. So play around at home or get a friend to photograph you or on video and try a few different poses and find out which works best for you. And also don't forget about the face. Play around with a few different expressions and eyes and find maybe three or five poses that are your signature poses.